Tits. 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 Nice. Okay, Fallen, you are almost fucking dead. I have bandages. What up everyone, this is Daniel and I'm playing Darkest Dungeon. In this video I will be trying Muscarine's modded class called Fawn uh, for the first time. I have had her in my roster, 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 roster. I've had her in my roster for quite a long time and I haven't tried playing her because she seems fucking obscure as shit. And now I'm finally uh, taking her to the Warrens with a very strong uh, composition. We have a Vestal to heal and occasionally stun. We have a guard to guard uh, a uh, fragile as fuck fawn. And we have a damage dealer in case she sucks at dealing damage. Secondary damage dealer will be able to kill shit. Even though these two are also modded, uh, I'm going to be primarily focusing on the fawn. What would I like to say about the fawn before we start? I don't like characters who are artificially complicated and uh, with fawn she is a little bit of that because I don't understand why does every attack have a negative damage modifier? What's the fucking point of that? She doesn't even have a single attack with a full damage so this damage 8 to 11 is complete bullshit because she will never do full damage the creator could have left one attack with a full damage and the other ones adjusted with modifiers i don't see a point of having all of the attacks be with negative modifiers that's stupid another point i would like to make is that uh, like with all with most with most of the muscarines modded characters, she at the first glance seems like an excuse to just uh, draw tits. She has, you know, the jiggle, her animations are sexualized and she overall, she's supposed to be like an animalistic, childish, uh, airheaded character who also has tits, right? I don't know, it just kind of grosses me out, it's fucking creepy, just like most of Muscarine's characters. And the encounter with the uh, mother, the boss encounter in the Warrens, is even worse because at least here you can change her outfits to the safe, to the relatively safer work one. But I believe that encounters with the boss, you do not have the ability to censor anything. So if I actually encounter the boss, I will have to blur the boss and the other enemies out because you know it's. So I have chosen for attacks that I might be able to cycle. I have attacks to use in any rank, so she should not be stuck at any point in the run. What else? Uh, her bleed resist is terrible, so I thought I might as well pull it down completely to zero, because there's no point in trying to compensate for the bleed resist. I have given her accuracy and crit and even more crit. She doesn't have dodge so I gave her even less dodge. Minus 8. Uh, yeah and um, let's see how she does. Maybe she actually will be able to buff herself into a fucking oblivion and become a killing machine. Where should we go? We have already had our first scout. Uh, I'm probably going to go here to the battle. Okay, we're playing with no light. The torches are not going to do anything because I have the mod that helps with the no light runs. Fuck. Forgot about the warns and their swine population. Okay, the first fight. Maggots, amazing. Uh, okay, uh, moon hoof, this array. This does. This is more accurate. So, uh, yeah, let's just kill something. Uh huh. It resisted the bleed. Amazing. This is broom. Crit. with impunity. This is why this character is so good. Yeah. So far, this damage dealer is better. Dodge, nice, good job. Oh, crit, nice. 
Another yep, one. get fucked. Okay, easy battle. Unfortunately, the fawn did not perform as good as I would like her to, but... Oh, 34 rounds. That's a lot. That's plenty. Okay. Maybe in boss battles she will be a fucking beast. Let's see. Let's go here. Whatever. We might get ambushed. Yep, and we are. Not surprised though. Oh shit. Yeah, good dodge. More accuracy, but less damage. But more crit. Let's try this. And he resisted the bleed. Or wait a second. Did he? Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, it's 70%, so it's like 50 50. Whatever. Crit, good. Let's throw tracers, whatever. Yep, good job. Great job. Let's guard. Yep, that's a good decision. Basically, she requires a guard to uh, survive because she has 15 HP. So one crit from somebody and she's fucking dead. Let's see, gouge, I guess. Good accuracy. No bleed self, yep. Done. Eh. No, she's stunned? No. Let's try it, actually. The buffing. Oh, plus 140 damage. Holy shit. Okay, the, we are foxing a fawn. Nice. The animations are epic, but she still doesn't deal that much damage. Oh shit. Ah. Such blockages are unsurprising. Yep, they are. predate even the earliest settlers. Okay, one more. Loot. Nice. I like crests. Mm, shit, no scouts. I like that the duration of the buff is uh, 34 rounds. That's plenty. Let's go here and then. When we return, we can... Shit, I only have one holy water. We can uh, rest. Oh! No surprise, okay. Hmm. At this rate... Yeah, let's, let's do this to hopefully kill something. Nice! Good crit! Oh. Yeah. Maintain the defense. It is indeed broken. Let's throw something out like this. Scouting, amazing. Your time to die. Oh shit. Fuck, we need to kill them straight away. Moon hoof. On you. Nice crit. Fortunately, not a one shot. Trace for one. Let's try and stun. Resist. Okay, fuck you. And then it's a tracer. Fuck. Well, let's just guard. Okay. Yep, fuck you. Get wrecked. Go fuck yourself. Nice. Okay, Fallen, you are almost fucking dead. Oh shit. That's not good. Drill. She has a drill uh, damage buff. Hmm. Okay. I'll just kill him. Whatever. Fuck. She's almost dead. Oof, she might be dead. She's not dead, just kidding, because I have bandages. So basically you are almost forced to bring bandages.
Yep. Did not get fucked in that 10%. Amazing. Uh-huh. Torch, torch, torch. Oh. Okay, a battle spawned. Let's see. Collector? No. Idiots. Let's kill them. I mean, she already has a quite a good amount of crit, but the damage is meh because all of her abilities uh, have negative modifiers. It might compensate for the negative modifiers at best, but the crit is very good. Um, back. Okay. Nice. Good crit. One tracer. Second tracer. Oh, bad. And maybe stun. Wow. She actually stunned. Okay, let's kill. Amazing. More bleed. That's shitty. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Yeah, I am forced to use the bandage again. That's not what I like to see. So she is a... Oh, fuck. Uh, she is a good damage dealer, right? Uh, supposedly. In perspective, she will become a good, good damage dealer. She crits a lot already. Well, mostly because I gave her broken trinkets. But, yeah, but she also is very susceptible to bleeds. So you have to play around her a lot from assigning her a guard to bring in bandages with you, a healer also. Uh, eviscerate. Bleed. Well, let's... Maybe... This has a higher crit chance. Nice. Did not bleed. Again. Okay. One. Two. Oh. Well. Wow. This is a sizable bleed already. What the fuck? Okay. Let's just kill the guy. Jesus. I am running out of bandages. That's the only one I have left. Fuck. Okay. This might be a catastrophe. Let's see. Okay. The drummer will have to die. Yeah, I'm not enjoying this whole ripping at seams uh, idea. Like, I have to constantly guard her, preferably also give her bandages and to also heal her. Dude, that's a lot of dedication to just keep an okay damage dealer running. Back, forward, let's try to kill this one. Mm. Okay. I think it gave me not uh, one bleed, not one point per round, but like two points per round. This is broken. What the fuck? Yeah, let's guard. Thank god I have Lord's Blade. She's such a good damage dealer. Fuck. This is not good. Fucking Jesus Christ! Are you shitting me? What the fuck was that? Fuck you. She's dying as well. Oh, I am kind of tempted to not use her. Just like move forward. <clears throat> but I have to. Fuck. You have to actually bring somebody who can cure pleats, like a plague doctor. Yeah, ghoulish horrors. Let's just do this. Gathered close in tenuous firelight, an uneasy companion. Um, I don't have much food. I'll do I'll do half because I want to survive a hunger check. <laughs> I 
what the hell is she doing? Anyway, uh, wound care. Hmm. That low resist virtue chance. Let's get some no ambush. Move. Damage speed. Crit. Speed damage accuracy. Wow. This. I mean, minus 33 stress is good, but, um, <laughs> dude, I'd rather have, like, a scouting, grooming. She does not need dodge, because she's being guarded, maybe against AoE attacks, but AoE attacks are usually kind of weak, so they both are going to die. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I'll just use wound care. Uh, unfortunately, dodge, speed, damage, nice. <laughs> she didn't receive any buffs, that's terrible, but whatever. You like me? Uh, no, not really, yet, at least. Let's go down. Heirlooms, good. Fuck. Hello! Surprised? Nope. No surprises for you. Good crit. Shit, this is, this is too strong. <laughs> uh, I think her buffs got burned off by the camp. Nice crit. No bleed though. Yes bleed on her. I don't know, I think that maybe her terrible bleed resist actually amplifies the bleed she receives, or she is just broken. I could try to kill 80%, but I actually want to heal the guard, and then I would like to heal. Oh, nice. Get wrecked. That devastating blow. Fuck money, fucking capitalism. Mm, I might reconsider where I put her drill from the last position, I guess. Fucking hell. No clemency She's gonna be place. dead <laughs> in two rounds. Hopefully there is a battle here. I'm not enjoying the character, to be honest. It's like she's trying very hard to kill herself even more than I was promised by the stats. Yep, hello. Nine, yep, she's alive. Honestly, I would rather take two Lord's Blade into a party than the Lord, Lord's Blade and the Fawn. Maybe? It's almost 50% to crit. Nice. Well done. I mean, at least she's a good critter, but I don't know. Maybe if you outfit her in like some anti bleed stuff, she might become very good, but so far, this is painful. Fuck. Uh, lightning Impale. Let's see what this guy does. Ooh. Okay. Three speed. Uh, I want to heal her because she will die otherwise. Get healed and now we can finish him off. Not with you. Fuck. No. You skip turn. Let's go this way. I want to finish this dungeon. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, Rack of Blades. I think you're supposed to use bandages on this, but unfortunately she ate all of my bandages. Ooh, the last one. Finally. Nope. I'm greedy boy. I wanna get all of the money. 
and all the crests. Good job. Holy water. Nope. Do not have. The Lord's Blade might get a, an affliction check. Oh, are we surprised? No, we're not. Good. Amazing. Stress heal. Oh, fuck. Uh, you again. Forward. Yep. She's not bleeding them. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Stalwart, yeah, amazing. Okay, that's pretty lucky. Nice video, Daniel. Fishing for crits, no luck. Uh, let's just fucking kill. Or stall, but not with you. You suck. Crits, crits, crits. Stress heal, nice. Backpack, low. Let's go back and go this way and then finish the dungeon. Done. Robbed of their writings, the swine will grow ever more ignorant. Oh, by the way, it was uh, medium level one dungeon. Uh, it's pretty good. I could have taken more loot if I did not waste all of my bandages. Okay, let's see. Level one. Uh, curious, you will have to go into the sanitarium. This is good though. Okay. Okay, so what's my verdict? My verdict is, unfortunately, even with the uh, amount of overpowered trinkets that I gave her, she is not very much worth it. Her attacks are weak, even with some buffs. She bleeds herself heavily. She does not seem to bleed enemies. Her camping skills are kind of shit. Virtue chance is not what I'm looking for and a character like her, who I'm going to be guarding all the time. Uh, the same goes for Death Blow Resist. If she's guarded, I mean, I can just use a stress healer if she gets stressed. Uh, minus stress and plus Virtue Chance, I mean, it's nice, but... Dude, you're a damage dealer, you're not a jester. I would like to have some damage dealing abilities. Grooming is only good for the accuracy, the dodge is pretty much useless, she's being guarded, like I said. Uh, max HP is alright, but it only helps her with uh, bleeds, because she's not getting attacked most of the time, because she's guarded. <laughs> you have to do almost everything around her. Let's look, maybe her skills change. Still minus 35, still minus 40, minus 50, minus 30. Oh, the damage mod changes on this one. Minus 65, and minus 65. So on some abilities, the damage mods become less shit. This is interesting, but still, you have to bring a lot of bandages, or you have to bring a plague doctor or somebody who can cure. Her bleeds are very heavy on her. In a couple of turns of amping up her damage, you might amp up her bleed and fucking kill her because the dots are primarily what uh, kills characters. I don't know. I have played her. I do not want to play her again. She seems like a unnecessary risk for the team, more of a detriment than a boon. She just seems like a an excuse for fan service, honestly. Interesting design, but I guess it is a little bit too interesting for me. Maybe somebody who is better at this game than me might be able to make her work much better than I can. So, yeah. I'm interested in playing Darkest Dungeon again, so maybe I will make some gaming content, maybe maybe about Darkest Dungeon, maybe I will start from uh, the beginning on Stygian difficulty alongside with the uh, normal 
philosophical and political content. So if you're interested in that, let me know. If you like my style of narration, I would also like to know that. If there's something I can improve maybe, also please let me know. And yeah, have a good day.